Hello, welcome back to the channel. So in this episode, I'm going to take the DJI Spark that we crashed into a river and actually see if it will fly. Cue the intro. Okay, so basically what happened was, was I was filming an epic river crossing on a Honda monkey bike and I was drifting as I was trying to go some sort of closest shots to the water and I was drifting towards a bridge um, and I tried to counter it but what I did, what was a silly thing to do, instead of just pressing up and sending the drone up in the air, I pressed the wrong way and it crashed into the bridge slammed into the water and it was basically submerged under water for roughly anything for one to two minutes the time it took me to jump down run across the bridge collect it out of the water but it was fully submerged underneath the water at this time and i just thought it's a goner that is that that dji sparks a goner and it's been such an epic drone to give you an idea of the epic drone it's been i've probably crashed it now 10 times trying to get epic footage on my videos it's been all over the uk with me and it's been an incredible piece of kit now the thing is i got it straight out of the water and i turned it upside down i took the battery off i tried to get as much water as possible i put it in my bag and i took it home now i've been practicing japanese karate skills by doing things like sanding in you've seen the karate kids sanding in the um, camper van what's going to become the monkey cycle camper van for future trips as well as painting the fence that he does and i tried that as well in the camper van by painting the units so i class myself now as a fully trained ninja and i thought if this is if this is sort of submerged in water there's only one way this is going to dry out and that's to use japanese rice so i bought some japanese rice I put it in a little bowl of Japanese rice and I put it in the airing cupboard for about five days and anything including my trainers when I wash them dry out in about five days. So I was reasonably confident that it's the time to take out and fly it. So I've jumped on the bike and I'm just going to head to a couple of locations and try and fly it, switch on for the first time. Now there's many questions and sort of the questions go in my head is would it even switch on it in the first place? Would it connect to the controller? And if it does connect to the controller, will it lift off? And if it does lift off and fly and it is stable, will it be recording? And all those things are going through my head because, you know, I did a little survey on the uh, channel and I did like a few, I did a question to say, will the DJI Spark fly again? And I've sort of put an answer as yes, no, it will take off and crash or it will burst into a big ball of flames. Now the answers came back from that and what we got was it yes, and also the other one that drawed with that answer out of them all was it will burst into a ball of flames. So I've got to pick somewhere in the middle of nowhere, not next to a petrol station, and take off the drone and see then if it flies, if it even works. Obviously if it does burst into a ball of flames and it becomes like a meteorite in the sky crashing into the ground, we need a big open field for that to happen. So that's why I'm on the bike. I'm on the bike searching for that perfect place in the middle of nowhere in the country. So let's find out if I can find it and let's find out if this drone is going to fly ever again. Okay, so what I've done is I've found a spot basically almost in the middle of nowhere, big field in front of me. If it goes down in a ball of flames, it won't blow anyone up. So we've checked that off the list. We are safe on that point of view. So, yeah, shall we see if the drone even switches on for a start? This will be slightly interesting. Right, here we go. Okay, step one is, will it even switch on? Let's find out. You ready? Oh. Yes, so it's switched on. Hopefully you can hear that, that's the fan.
the gimbal's not currently moving. Oh. Right, let's find out. Let's see if we can connect the let's see if we can even get this to connect now. The next stage is getting the remote to connect. I have no idea if this is gonna work. Well we've still got no connection at the minute. Aha, it says spark. It's not turned green. Oh it's turned green. Right, okay, so look, we've got a little green light. It says spark on the app. Let's see. Gotta find a good flat place I can put it. Ah, here we go. Take off from here. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can get this to take off. Right, okay. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna press the auto take off. And we'll see if this little drone can do it. Okay, it's up. It's up. It seems to be holding well. So, so far, no ball of flames. No ball of flames at all. Let's see if it will go and control. So it's flying away. Right, okay, I'm gonna to swap to the drone footage. If this actually works, you'll see it. And we see how well it flies and basically if it's still working properly. I don't know if it's recording, I haven't got a clue, but we'll find out. This little drone, this little drone that's been underwater and sat there for a minute or two, getting absolutely drenched, cut off, and it was running, it was flying, it crashed in there. And this little drone, it's flew. Now, I'm hoping right now that it has recorded to SD and we have a little bit of cool footage to be able to put up. But if this has worked, if this has actually worked, this makes this drone incredible. Like 10 crashes of water soaking. It's like, it's like, how is it still going? How is this drone still going? I've got to say, DJI make an absolutely epic drone and they are rugged and that's an absolute proof right there. So, wow, I'm really impressed. I can't believe that I just actually even flew. Switched on was good, but actually flew and flew spot on and everything worked. That's absolutely incredible. Wow, absolutely incredible. 
Okay, well, what can you say over then? That drone is absolutely amazing. I mean, it's crashed and crashed. It's gone through quite an ordeal during the time I've had that drone to get those perfect shots. And then to finally bounce off of a wall, basically, and into a river. Um, and it was a dirty river at that. And then five days later, come back out and fly again. And without any issues, it flew as it normally would flew. It held as it would normally held, held itself. Its GPS worked, all the features worked. And, you know, it's giving it a good clean, so maybe it's going to even be better footage, but I'm so impressed with it. But anyway, I just want to say a huge thank you, as always, to my patrons. They're the guys that go out to work, work really hard and put a few quid towards this channel because they believe in this channel so much and they want to support it. And it means an absolute world to me. I've sold quite a few mugs recently and quite a lot of the t-shirts. And it's really nice for to think that there's somebody sat there at home watching my video in a helmet head t-shirt or drinking out of a helmet head mug. As always, it's amazing these mugs because everything just seems to taste that much better. Oh, so much better. So, as always again, huge thank you for people that subscribe. If you haven't and you're considering it and you've been watching my videos, why not click that subscribe button, hit the bell button and you'll get to know every single video that comes out. Before you disappear, if you could smash as they like to say, I don't know why they say that, smash, but anyway, if you can click the thumbs up button as well, that would be really, really good. And until our next adventure, our next thing, who knows what it's going to be as always, I'll uh, see you in the next one, but take care. Bye-bye for now.